Hello guys, welcome to the QuickBook Learning Session. In today's session, we will learn about how to pass a journal entry in the QuickBook. Okay, first of all, what is a journal entry? In every business, uh, there are some accrual entries at the end of every month, which we have to do, which we have to enter in the uh, QuickBook or other accounting software. Okay. For example, I will tell you the example. For example, electricity bill at the end of month, it is payable, but the, we did not, we receive the bill, but the payment will be done in the next month. So we have to book this amount of the electricity bill at the end of the month. If this is 30 of the month, 30, or if this is the 31st of the month, then on the 31st of the relevant month. For example, again, there is a water bill and we receive the water bill after the end of the uh, month uh, on the second or third or fourth of the next month. But the bill is related to the previous month. Then we have to make a journal entry in the accounting system on the 31st or 30 or uh, at the end of the month, at the last day of the month, is an accrual, and this will be a payable amount. A payable amount means the expense will be debit, and the accrued expenses will be credit is a payable. Okay, so how we will do it in the QuickBook? Okay, there is an option, and this option is a journal entry. Come to the account. And here is an option make a journal entry. You can see this one. Click on it. And the window will, the journal entry window will open. Okay. If you are using more currency, then you can select from here. Date, I will say the date is 31st. Okay. If you want the entry number, you can do it here. If this is an adjusting, adjusting entry, then you can check this one. Okay. What will be debit? The expense. Telephone expenses. Okay. For example, this is the telephone bill of the July and we receive it today or at two days before in the month of August and the amount of the bill is 500 you can write in the memo telephone bill for for the month of July if the name you can write the name here okay credit the debit is done now there should be there would be and there must be a credit and the credit will be accrued expenses i think there is no head we will generate a head accrued expenses a setup because there is no hit and it will other type other current liability continue accrued expenses and this is other current liability if you want the description you can write here close and the same is written here save and close the entry will be it will take a little time yeah let's see the the effect come to the reports and account and taxes it just to try balance or try balance let's see the effect the effect uh, is uh, accrued expenses 500 and this is on credit 
means this is payable okay and telephone expense expenses this is 500 debit you see so this is the effect of the journal entry and this is the way how you can make a journal entry in the quickbook i hope you understand and if you understand like this video and share with your friend and leave your comment if you have any suggestion or any comment if you need any kind of help leave in comment i will respond to it thank you for watching bye